everybody. Welcome to this week's video. This is Chris with Simple Tech, where we help you take the stress out of your Apple IT. Hey, in this week's video, we are going to talk about widgets in Mac OS. So widgets are a great tool to be able to use to quickly access things like your favorite devices, maybe check a look at the weather or the top headlines of the day. Uh, and now with a bunch of third-party applications also using widgets, it can make you more efficient and streamline the way you do your normal daily activities. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. So if you're new to the Mac system, but maybe you've used an iPhone or an iPad for a while, widgets would be something that you're familiar with. Um, widgets are essentially shortcuts to applications that you like to use, uh, and they're designed in a way to give you the relevant information you're typically looking for based upon that application. So like, it, for instance, the weather. It's going to show you the weather from your local location, or even maybe if you set it up to be the weather for a different location, it's going to show you that information. Or if you're using Apple News and you have an Apple News widget, right, it's going to maybe show you the top headlines that are listed there. If you're using the Stocks app, maybe the stocks are shown there. So ultimately widgets are just kind of like a referencing tool and shortcuts to the things that you use the most. Like one that I use a lot, for instance, is I try to just intermittent fast after dinner until my breakfast the next morning of 13 hours, right? So on my phone, I could just tap start on my widget, right? So it just makes it really, really easy. I don't have to open the application, wait for it to load, all that kind of good stuff. Well, you have that same tool on your Mac. And the beauty about that is it allows you just to be more efficient for how you use your computer. Um, I know a lot of businesses use this for quick shortcuts to things that they might reference quite often. Um, you know, and I have people that just like it for personal reasons, whether, like I said, some of the personal things are news, stocks, um, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, weather is a big one, right? Um, so let's talk about how we add a widget to our desktop on our Mac. So as you can see here, I have a fresh desktop where we're looking at the Sonoma Hills, you know, or wherever this is located over in Northern California. Um, and we want to maybe add a widget to this. So there's a couple ways that we could do this. The easiest is if you have a right click or secondary click set up um, on your Mac, you could just do that right on your desktop and you will get this like this little menu, right? And you'll see edit widgets here as the fourth option down. Um, if you don't have right click set up, what you can do is you can hold your control key down on your keyboard and simply click on the desktop and you will get this same list of items. So in this particular case, we're gonna go ahead and do edit widgets. And when we do so, we get this screen that pops up from the bottom that's kind of just like, okay, well, what widget do you want? So you can see, you're gonna get some direction if you've never used it before on how to place widgets directly onto your desktop. It's gonna give you some suggestions based upon things that you used. And then on this far left-hand side, you can see there is a bunch of others that we have in there. Now, granted right now, these are all the Apple applications I currently have on my phone. Or I'm sorry, not on my phone, on my Mac. You know, but you have some other ones here. So if I wanted to see the batteries of my keyboard and trackpad and my computer, or I wanted to look at my calendar events and see what was next, or quickly be able to access my calendar, right? Clock. So a lot, a lot of different options. Now you'll notice that some of them are different. You know, they're all kind of different sizes. If you've done this on an iPhone before, it's very, very similar to that. You know, some will show you more information where some will show you less. Sorry, I was about to stutter there. You know, and so you can see here, if I wanted to add weather, I'm just simply gonna just, I could just drag it or I could hit that green plus. Now, when you bring it up and you just drop it, you kind of just drop it where you want it, right? Now, with weather, you can see it's going to ask, do I want to use my location? Sure. We'll go ahead and use my location, which is Reno, Nevada. So that should just populate and change here in a moment. And I'm just kind of dragging it around so you can see kind of how it behaves. Now, let's say, okay, I have my weather, but I also want to add the battery status of my devices. And I'm going to put it right next to it. And what's cool is you'll see how it's kind of creating these 
blocks where you can let go and that's where it's going to put it see if there's this box that it's kind of already highlighting and showing you so even if i'm like right about here and i let go it's going to slide it into place and that's where it's going to put it and then once you're done you go ahead and hit done and now we have our widgets so now you can see here's my weather so i have a quick look here's the charge of my macbook pro here's the charge of my keyboard and my trackpad so those are things that maybe are important to me that I want to quickly reference as I am using my machine or be able to just take a quick glance and take a look at. So that's how you add widgets to your desktop. Now there's another place where you can have widgets as well. And this is where it kind of, it gets a little confusing because widgets actually have existed on the Mac as far as I know, as long as I've ever used a Mac, which has been, you know, almost 20 years now at this point, right? Uh, it's evolved over time before it was like a separate desktop, then it moved into the notification center. And that's what we're gonna talk about next, is how to add a widget into your notification center. So if you're not familiar with the notification center, we do have another video that you could reference on the notification center. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it. So we're gonna go up to the date and time in the top right hand corner. And when I click there, you can see that there are widgets kind of already in place here. So we got calendar, you know, the weather, the clock, you know, if you're a world traveler, maybe that's important to you. Top stories and Apple News, Dow, Do Dow Jones Industrial, you know, screen time. Uh, so if you monitor your screen time to make sure like, man, I am on my devices a lot, I need to cut that down or, you know, whatever it may be, or what am I using a lot? But at the very, very bottom, when you scroll down, you'll see edit widgets. And so I can click on edit widgets here. And now you can see with notification center open, I have a lot of options. And it's very, very similar to when we clicked on our desktop and did edit widgets. But the difference is not only are we seeing these on the left-hand side that we added, but now we're seeing the notification center ones. So I don't need the weather in two locations. So I'm gonna hit that minus. I don't need the clock because I'm not a world traveler. I don't need the date because I'll just open my calendar <clears throat> or I'll just look up here in the top right-hand corner, right? I'm not a big stocks person and screen time doesn't really matter to me, right? But maybe I want quick access to my contacts, right? So maybe I wanna bring my contacts over here. Actually, that is not the right one to be put into my contacts. Maybe I wanna put my contacts over here, right? So I have contacts there so I can click on it. This is just a video production contact, right? There's really nothing in there. Or maybe I want my reminders list. And so I can customize the notification center to have what I want in it very much like my desktop. Now, the benefit to this is it doesn't clutter your desktop. So if you're one of those types of people that doesn't like a lot of clutter on your desktop, then having the desktop widgets probably wouldn't be ideal for you. But however, having them quickly accessible in the notification center could be. So now if I just click on date and time again, you can see it goes away. If I come up to date and time, there they all are, the ones I just added. And then there's that edit widgets down at the bottom again to where you can edit the widgets in Notification Center. So we've talked about adding widgets to your desktop and adding widgets to Notification Center. Now at the very, very beginning, I kind of talked about widgets have been a thing on iPhone and iPad for a, a bit of time now, right? They're relatively new in Mac OS and the last couple operating systems. So you might already be using some on your phone that you really would love to have on your computer for when you're using it. So let's talk about how to do that. So let's talk about how to add widgets from your phone onto your Mac. So this is kind of one of those fun ones. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is make sure we're signed in to the same Apple ID on both devices. So whatever Apple ID you're using on your iPhone or iPad, as an example, um, you also need to be signed into that same Apple ID on your Mac. Otherwise, this isn't gonna work. And if you haven't done that yet, where you go to do that is in your system settings. So you just kinda, I always go to the Apple logo and system settings, because I know everybody's got that there. So you can see up here at the top, there's my Apple ID, right? And I'm signed into it. Now that's the same one that's on my phone. So now, what I can do is I need to scroll down and I need to find this desktop and dock section. And when I find this desktop and dock section, there's a lot of stuff in here, okay? Now, but if we come down 
and we get to this desktop and stage manager section right below that you can see we have the widgets section okay so you can see we can show widgets on our desktop or not in stage manager if you have that activated or not the widget style automatic black and white full color I just have it set to automatic so that way whatever the application and how it does it but the one that we're looking for here is this use iPhone widgets. So by turning this feature on, the widgets that we were seeing a moment ago in here, in this list over here on the side, are gonna change and they're gonna reflect the apps that I have on my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'll go ahead and close the system settings because that's it, it's just a toggle switch, we're done. So now we can go through, we could add widgets from our phone onto the desktop of our Mac. So we can come down, edit widgets. Now you can see I have different ones. I have a Best Buy one, I have Calm, I have a VPN. Me and my, my kid play a lot of Pokemon, you know? So we have, you know, Dex, we keep track of our cards, Facebook, My Fitness Pal. So you can see this list is now updated to, it's still populating things in, that's why it's flickering back and forth. It's kind of reading my phone. So you can see it's kind of moving. It's still kind of loading. Um, so these are the things that you could see though, you could quickly put onto your desktop. So for instance, if I was using my desktop for work purposes, maybe I need to see the console overview of my ubiquity equipment of some of my clients, or maybe I want to look at Yelp, um, or have quick access to YouTube. There's my fasting one I mentioned at the beginning. So it works very, very, very much the same to where you just simply drag and drop these widgets onto your desktop, just like we did with dragging and dropping the widgets on of weather and the battery. There's no difference. But now you can access and have the same widgets from your iPhone onto the desktop of your Mac. So that way there's the synergy between your devices and you can always have that information that you're looking for right available to you immediately just the way you like it. Because I mean, God knows we use our iPhones all the time, and so how we like to use our phones typically is kind of how we like to use our other devices as well. And so hopefully that is very helpful for adding a widget from your iPhone to your Mac. Now the last thing that we're gonna really talk about is just how to customize these widgets when they're on your desktop. Um, so you can see I have these two here, so we're just gonna play with these. So again, we just simply go into the edit widgets feature by holding control and clicking on our desktop or right clicking. We do edit widgets. Now you can see here I have this little minus sign that'll allow me to remove the widgets if I did not want them any longer. You could also do that in notification center as well. If I were to open it up and do edit widgets. Oh, well, I think we did that before. Edit widgets at the bottom of this one, I apologize. And then we just hit that minus sign and we've gotten rid of those widgets, right? Now you can customize these by once you go into edit widgets, you click on one and you can see it flipped around. So maybe I don't want to use Reno, Nevada or my current location for my widget. Maybe I want to use Incline Village because I got to travel there later today. And so I just want to kind of get a quick update on the weather. Now it shows Incline Village. Now the batteries, right? No customization on the battery one. Battery one is what it is. However, let's pull the clock one in. So now that's our clock. Oops, that's not the right clock I wanted to use. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, my camera is right in my way. Here, let's do stocks. All right, so we have the stocks there. So now if I click on the stock, maybe it's not Apple that I want to see. Maybe it's Microsoft. Maybe I invest a lot in Microsoft Corporation and I'm really paying attention to that stock. So now I can see what the status of Microsoft is. So once you go into the edit widgets and then you click on the widget itself, if there is more customizing tools that are available to you, they will show up here in this list. And then again, once I click on my desktop, everything kind of goes away and now my widgets are set. So we did a lot in this video, right? We talked about first, why would we use widgets, right? How to add a widget to your desktop, how to add a widget to your notification center, how to use widgets from your iPhone on your Mac. And then we talked about kind of how to edit and customize widgets and how to remove them from your Mac. 
if you either your notification center or your desktop. So just a few tips just to kind of remember. If you're looking to edit the widgets on your desktop, just simply hold the control key down and click on your desktop and do edit widgets. If you have the secondary click or right click turned on, you just simply do that and you have edit widgets and you can then customize these. If you wanna customize the ones in your notification center, you do need to open your notification center first, come down to edit widgets, and then you can customize those. But you can see when you do it that way, you can actually customize all your widgets, not just the ones that are in notification center. When you click on your desktop, everything goes away, and now you are back set. So we hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with all the new videos that we do publish. If you need to learn more about notifications, as I mentioned earlier in the video, please go see our notifications video. You can find that under our Mac OS fundamentals uh, playlist. Uh, I'll also try to remember to put a link in the show notes for you so that way you can quickly just click on that if you need to. But other than that, hope everybody has a great week. Take care and thank you.